Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So it's said the table saw is the heart of the workshop and I think that's definitely true with mine. And what makes it so versatile is all the jigs and sleds you can add onto it. So today I'm going to talk about sleds, but to start with I'm going to talk about the mitre gauge and I'm going to class that as a sled. So if your table saw actually came with a mitre gauge, the chances are it's pretty rubbish and upgrading to an aftermarket one is normally well worthwhile. They slide in the mitre slot and this one I've got can be adjusted so you can get a really snug fit in there. You can bevel it for doing angled cuts. This one goes to 60 degrees and I think what makes them really useful is adding a fence. You can just screw a bit of wood on but this one has an aluminium fence which means this stop can slide on it. So the mitre gauge is great for cross cutting and angled cuts, but my preferred method for cross cutting is strangely enough to use a cross cut sled. Now the one I've made is designed to work with the riving knife and blade guard still in place. So it's quite safe. And instead of just having the fence on one side, it's got fences and flip stops on both sides. So it's really good for making repeatable cuts. Now, it runs on two runners instead of the one of the mitre gauge, so it keeps it really nice and straight and accurate. You can make your own runners, but I'm using these UJK ones from Axminster. A link down below to these and all the other bits I'm going to mention. Like the previous mitre bar, they're adjustable so you can get a perfect fit. Now, the trouble with sleds with two runners is that they don't tend to be interchangeable between table saws. So in the past, I've made a picture frame sled. I've even done a video about it but it doesn't work with my current table saw and I've not gone around to making a new one. But they're great if you want to make more than one picture frame the same. Now, you can watch my video, but I would do what I did and watch David Pesuto's and Michael Elm's ones because they're very good. Now, a sled I've been meaning to make and looks incredibly simple is a panel sled. So it has the fence on the other side, which means you can push larger panels through the saw. Now, Rag and Bone Brown has a great video on this, so I suggest you check his out. So that's my recommendations on sleds. I would definitely make a cross-cut sled. If you're gonna do a lot of picture frames, a picture frame sled, and a panel sled is something I should have made years ago and I will get round to. So, thanks for watching. Thanks to my Patreons, and please subscribe for more videos.